prepare materials like blood components properly examined and cross-matched, blood set, IV set, plain NSS, sterile gloves, needle gauge 18, and your IV pole. Verify doctor's written prescription and make a treatment card according to the hospital policy. Wash his hands. Explain the procedure or rationale for giving blood transfusion to reassure patient and significant others. Secure consent. Get patient history regarding previous transfusion. Request prescribed blood or blood components from blood bank to include blood typing and crossed match using a clean line tray takes compatible blood from hospital blood bank wrap blood bag with clean towel and keep it at room temperature Have a doctor and a nurse assess patient's condition. Countercheck the compatible blood to be transfused against the cross-matching sheet, noting ABO grouping and your RH compatibility, serial number of each blood unit, and expiry date with blood bag label and other laboratory blood exam Obtain the baseline vital signs, your blood pressure, your respiratory rate, temperature before transfusion. Refer to any attending physician accordingly for any deviations or abnormality. Give pre-transfusion meds 30 minutes before transfusion as prescribed. Perform hand washing.
Dawn Sterile Gloves. Opens compatible blood set aseptically and closed roller clump. Spike blood bag carefully. Fill the drip chamber at least half full. Prime tubing and remove air bubbles if any. Used only gauge 18 or 19 for your side drip for adult patients or gauge 22 for pediatric patients. Disinfect Y injection port of IV tubing of plain NSS and insert the needle from BT administration set and secure with adhesive tape. Closes roller clump of IV fluid, plain NSS, and regulate to KVO rate while transfusion is going on. Transfuse the blood via injection port and regulate at 10 to 15 drops per minute initially for 15 minutes and then at prescribed rate, usually based on patient's condition and based on physician's order. Monitors the patient within the first 5 to 10 minutes of transfusion and refer immediately to the MD for any adverse reaction. When blood is consumed, closes the roller clamp of blood transfusion and disconnect from IV line, then regulate the IVF of plain NSS as prescribed. 
take note, one BT set can be used for one to two units of blood. Discard blood bag and BT set and sharps according to the healthcare waste management or depending on the hospital's protocol. Wash hands after the procedure. Observe and monitor patient post BT. Delayed reaction can still occur. Check vital signs post blood transfusion therapy. Rechecks hemoglobin and hematocrit. Bleeding time, serial platelet count within specified hours as prescribed. Fills out adverse reaction sheet per institution policy, if applicable. Reminds the doctor about administration of calcium gluconate if patient has several units of blood transfusion, 3 to 5 more units of blood. 